We have 12 new kanji for, or 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPT N3 study list for you today. The way this works is we're going to go through each word and write each down three to five times to get an, a sense of the old kanji that we've already learned in a new word. If you uh, don't know any of these kanji, I'll go over at least the meanings, but um, we've already been over most all of these kanji today in previous lessons, so I won't be going over the radicals that each kanji contains. Uh, if you uh, need to know how to write kanji, head on over to jisho.org. That's J-I-S-H-O dot O-R-G. It's a really good dictionary for kanji, and it shows you how to write them. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first word for the day is yakkyoku. A yakkyoku is a kusuri or ya uh, for drug or you know medicine, and kyoku on the right side, which is an office. So the pharmaceutical office or drug office is the pharmacy or a hospital pharmacy. Yakkyoku is a pharmacy or a hospital pharmacy. Yakkyoku. Yakkyoku is a pharmacy or a hospital pharmacy. Since specifically Kyoku means office, in a hospital it would be an office. That's where that comes from. Yakkyoku is the hospital office or the drug office. Yakkyoku, the pharmacy or in hospital pharmacy. Yakkyoku. Yakkyoku is a pharmacy. Yakkyoku. Yakkyoku is a hospital pharmacy or the pharmacy. Number two is sonzai with our kanji for to be aware of or feel on the left side and zai on the right side for existing or on the outskirts. Um... So this is exist and this is feel. To be feeling in existence is being or existence itself. Sonzai is existence or being. Son on the left side for feeling and zai the right side for existing. Sonzai. Sonzai. Existence or being. Sonzai, existence or being. Sonzai, existence or being. Sonzai. Number three is Nen Kan. Nen on the left side is a year. Kan on the right side is some period of time. So a Nen Kan is in the period of a year. A Nen Kan is the period of of a year. Nenkan. Nenkan is the period of a year. Nenkan is Nenkan is Period of a Nenkan. Number four is Jimon. Mon on the right side is actually to make fun of. So uh, on the left side we have Ji, which refers to oneself. So you are making fun of yourself is pride or boastful. I like that. You, you know, you're supposed to be showing off, but actually you're making fun of yourself to the Japanese. Love it. Jimon is pride or boasting. To make fun of yourself. Jimon. Pride or boasting. Jimon is pride or to boast. Jimon is pride.
Number five is shoku yoku. Yoku on the right side is to want something or to desire something. Shoku on the left side is food. So to desire food is to have an appetite. Shoku yoku is your appetite. Shoku yoku. Yoku is also how I pronounce uh, good. One of the words for good is yoku. So to be good on food, or to want and think that food is good, is also an appetite. Shoku yoku is to want or desire food, to have an appetite. Shoku yoku is an appetite. Shoku yoku. Shoku yoku is an appetite. Number six is yu ko. Yu on the left side is to have or to exist. Ko on the right side is effectiveness. So having effectiveness is valid or effective. Yu ko is having effectiveness or being effective. Yu ko. You call is having effectiveness more valid and effective. You call. You call is having effectiveness or validity. You call valid or effective. You call. Valid or effective. Number seven is mitomeru. Nin or mitomeru. This kanji means to recognize or to acknowledge or witness something. And mitomeru means to recognize someone for something that they are, to approve or admit someone for something, to watch daily, or to give renown to. I think this is the one that we need to pay attention to because this is the real meaning of like, you know, you are recognizing them for their performance or for something that they've done. So, mitomeru is to recognize, to deem, or approve. Mitomeru. Mitomeru is to recognize or approve something. Mitomeru. Zashi no shi de ani nin. Right, this is kakunin no nin. A correct. Mitomeru is to recognize, give renown to, deserved renown. Mitomeru. <clears throat> Number eight is igai. E on the left side are your thoughts or ideas. Gai on the right side is outside. So they are outside of what you thought or your thoughts and ideas, which means unexpected or surprising. Outside of your thoughts is unexpected or surprising. Igai. Igai. Outside your thoughts or ideas or surprising. Igai. Igai. Outside your thoughts or Expected thoughts, really, right? Guy is unexpected or surprised. Guy. Outside your thoughts or expected thoughts. Number nine is umeru, to bury or to fill up with our kanji of the same meaning, to bury. To have earth on the left side radical is earth, right side radical is logic. So to have earth logic is to be buried or fill up. So this is our verb for actively filling something up, our transitive verb, umeru. To bury, fill up, plug a gap, make up for, or to cover, umeru. To bury or fill up, umeru. Bury or fill up. Bury or fill up. Bury or fill up. 
carry or fill up. Matter. Number 10 is tamaru, to bear or to endure something. Tamaru can also mean to accumulate things and to collect them. But in, there's another meaning for it, and that's to bear or to endure something. Tamaru. Tamaru. It's to bear or endure something. Tamaru. Tamaru is to bear or endure. Tamaru. Bear or endure. Tamaru. Bear or endure. Number 11, ryu ko. Ryu on the left side is to flow, and ko on the right side is to go. Um, how you're going to remember that this means a fashion fad or craze, I don't really know. Um, it goes with the flow, I guess. Go with the flow. Yeah, that makes sense. To go with the flow is a fashion fad or the prevalence of a disease going with the flow is a fashion or fad Ryuko. Ryuko is go with the flow go along with the fad or fashion Ryuko. fashion fad can also mean the prevalence of a disease which what you know what is the going going rate or going flow of some diseases a fad or fashion recall that goes with a fad or recall fad or and our last word for the day is tsuneni tsuneni is always or constantly Tsunani is like an uh, interjection that means tsunani nani nani. Like nani nani is something something. So something would usually follow this. That is the thing that is always or constantly done. Tsune, this kanji just means regular or normal, normalcy. So um, just just in the same way that itsumo no basu means you're always bus or the bus that you always ride. Tsunani means always is in the usual. Tsunani, always or constantly. Tuneni. Tuneni is always or constantly. Tuneni. Tuneni. Always or constantly. Tuneni. Always or Tuneni, always or constantly. Let's go back to the top, make sure we have all of these down, at least for right now. Go back and review them another day. A pharmacy, a hospital pharmacy is a yakyoku. A yak or pharmacy or drugstore. Yoku on the right side. Office, yakyoku. Your existence or being is your sonzai. Son on the left side for feeling and zai on the right side for existence. A period of a year or during an era is a nenkan. Nenkan. Literally the period of a year. Nenkan. Uh, pride or boasting is jiman. Ji on the right on the left side, sorry, for yourself. And the mon on the right side, which actually means to ridicule, which I like. If you're giving, if you're being prideful or boasting about something, you're actually self ridiculing. Pride or boast is jiman. Your appetite is your shoku yoku or your desire for food. Shoku on the left side for food, and yoku on the right for desire. Shoku yoku. To bear or to fill up something or to plug a gap is umeru, the logic of the earth. Umeru, transitive verb. To endure something is. Hmm, to endure or to bear is tamaru, right? That's our word for today with no kanji, tamaru. 
Got it. Uh, fashion fad prevalence of a disease is a view call. View on the left side for a flow. Pull on the right for a going or going with the flow is continuing with a fashion or fad. And finally, always or constantly is tsuneni with our kanji for normalcy. Tsuneni is always or constantly. Thanks for watching tonight, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Done.